Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Dispute with Mahesh. If you are in India, happy Teachers Day. So everybody knows the importance of a teacher. So um, so today the concept which I wanted to share is, uh, or a more of a scenario based uh, question is, what happens if you try to load almost like 11 years of data into BigQuery, where we are going to also partition it. So assume there's going to be a field called as date. It is going to have almost like all 11 years of entry so something of that sort and we also want to do partitioning so on that specific column what will happen so is what i wanted to show so i have already shared a uh, youtube shots on that stuff so to give you a quick answer where it's less than 60 seconds if you are interested you can look into it or if you want to see a detailed video on that so this is the one which is uh, on that part so let's get into the actual demonstration all right this is the data which i have simulated it so i used excel sheet so some uh, excel formulas all those things i have used that and i have generated this so the data is going to be something like this a random number uh, or we can call it as random uh, string and random date so it is going to have from 1st of january 20, uh, 2000 so if i scroll down it is going to be something like more than uh, 4,200 records. So excluding the header, it's going to be 4,200 records. So why I mentioned specifically 11 years is if we just do a simple math, it's going to be more than 4,000 entry. Now, what is that 4,000 uh, so important is what I wanted to show you. So let's get into the actual demonstration where we'll try to load this uh, CSV file. All right, I'm in my Google Cloud console. So I have a project called as Happy Teachers Day and I have a data set called as Happy Teachers Day and it's in Mumbai. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a table. So the table is going to be coming from uh, my local machine. So I'm going to get that data partition and underscore limit. So CSV file and let's call it as uh, understand bq pt partition limit so that is what we are going to have it and i'm lazy enough i'm going to put auto detect as the uh, uh, schema okay so let's go ahead and uh, load this and um, I'm not going to turn on partitioning for now. So I'm just wanted to load it. So use this as a best uh, practice. So when you are loading some data, yes, we know it is going to have some uh, bad records, all those things. So the best way is just load it as is. That's what I would say. So we can call this as uh, stage data, stage table. So something like this, let's just load it as is, no partitioning, nothing. So meaning let's have the data in Google Cloud uh, environment. So that is going to be in the form of a BigQuery table. So we have it. Now, uh, this may not be the ideal way of keeping it, right? Because uh, the records are loaded, perfectly loaded, but no partitioning, nothing. So whenever we do query, it is going to do a full table scan. So that is where we wanted to avoid this part. So let's try to do a partitioning. So now you have the data. So you're not going to lose it by any chance. You have it. Now you do the transformations or you want to have a better design of the table. You can do it. So let's try to do this. So let's try to create a, a new table here. Select star from this. So. <clears throat> So create table, um, so it is, uh, it is under happy teachers day. So I'll call this as understand BQ limit. So as, so this is one way of creating a table. So along with this, I wanted to turn on a partition by, so I wanted to partition it by a specific field, which is uh, random date and it's also good you turn on um, the filter the partitioning filter that's a very good choice so let's try to do that all right we have the necessary stuff and you can definitely use a uh, if this is not in the right format you can always format it which looks much uh, more professional way of having the query so this is what we have it so so far so good so we are going to get the entire data 
which is in our stage table uh, but we want to load that into a new table where we also want to turn on partitioning why because we want to avoid full table scan as simple as that so and it's a, a very good practice that you turn on the partition filter uh, without a partition filter set as uh, true and you don't put that where clause so if you don't put, if this flag is not set you can skip the where clause if you skip the where clause i would say literally it's going to do a full table scan there's no point in doing partitioning so i would say the major impo the important stuff is when you are doing partitioning make sure you put this filter otherwise it's of no use is what i would say um, unless you explicitly put a where clause but this one it's going to make you to put a where clause that's a key part so let's go ahead and run this part so by default it's going to be partition by day that's the default behavior so when i run this you will have a surprise so let's see what is that surprise so this is a surprise so this is where all the entire story or the demo was uh, uh, revolving around so too many partitions produced by the query allowed is 4000 uh, the query produces uh, 4200 because we have 4200 entries so every day we have one uh, date so you will have 4000 partitions uh, but the total entries is 4200 because of which we are having an issue here now does that mean i cannot load it uh, you can at least load partial data is what i would say so something like this where I see for the first time in an on-demand mode, you can use this. I can put something like this, meaning at least load the 4,000 records. Ignore the uh, 200 records. So at, instead of some nothing, at something is there is what I would say. So let's try to load this and this should definitely get in, right? So this should get in actually. So let's wait for the table to be loaded and it should be completely partitioned. Uh, so let's wait for that part. Even though the data is very uh, less uh, because of the partitioning, so we have turned it on. It may have a small uh, this thing. So you saw how the table loaded very quickly when we had not turned on any kind of partitioning. It was quick, uh, but this one is taking longer time. So if you just go to the history, right, you'll come to know that part. So it is loaded now. So uh, if I just refresh this, so. I have to low, refresh it one more time. For some reason, it's not showing the updated one. So loaded. So the time is. It should show one more load entry. Uh, let me put a filter. Okay. So it's showing only one load for some reason. Oh, sorry. That was a create statement. My bad. So that was a uh, okay. Create is the one. So this entire stuff uh, took almost uh, uh, thirty-three seconds. Uh, is what you would see, uh, whereas the load one was not that uh, long. It was short and sweet. One second is what it took. So coming to the actual table, so which we have partitioned. So if you come here, it is going to show us partition. Look at the details. The one which I mentioned, it is partition. This is the default option. The field is on random underscore date. Uh, this one is very important. Partition filter. Whereas, so what does that mean if you have not explored that so far? So, uh, random string. So, the importance of this one is uh, this where clause, folks. So, if I don't put this where clause, it will not allow me to query so that is the meaning filter uh, partition filter so it shows you cannot query because it is partition so that's the importance so i would strongly suggest it needs to be turned on so so in a nutshell if you wanted to load 11 years of data with partitioning on day that's the partition type which you are going to use and you want to load it uh, it will not be loaded so simple short answer is that and uh, you have seen the actual demonstration so now 
what could be the ways of loading it so one way i have shown it partial loading with the limit option you have seen it if you wanted to know some more other options so definitely it's not possible but there are some workarounds which i would like to share in tomorrow's video so uh, you will see a shorts video on that also and you'll also see a, a detailed video so if you are interested you can look into it so once again uh, happy teachers day so thanks for watching bye